There are some systems of equations that the substitution method is just not a good fit for. Let me show you an example. Suppose we meet the system 13x plus 7y equals 27 and 4x minus 7y equals negative 10. Notice that both of these equations have kind of unpleasant coefficients and neither one of them is in the form y equals stuff with x or x equals stuff with y. Now we could solve this system using substitution. What would we do? Just what we always do in substitution. Um, I don't see either one of these equations being particularly better than the other. But I suppose dividing by 4 is better than dividing by 13 or 7. So I'm going to choose to solve this equation for x. 4x minus 7y is negative 10. Add 7y to both sides. And divide both sides by 4. We'll get x is... 7 divided by 4 is 7 fourths. 10 divided by 4 is 10 fourths. We could simplify that fraction, but don't worry about it. And now we can substitute in this equation. So we'll have 13x plus 7y is 27. Take away the x and put in this expression that's equal to x instead. Okay. Now we have an equation in just one variable, namely y. And we can distribute. So we'll have 13 times 7 fourths. 22.75y minus 13 times 10 fourths, 32.5 plus 7y equals 27. Um, combine the two terms in y, we'll have 29.25. We'll have 29.75y minus 32.5 equals 27. Add 32.5 to both sides. 29.75y is 27 plus 32.5 is 59.5. Divide both sides by 29.75 and we'll get y equals 2. That's actually way better than expected. Going back to find x, um, I guess I'm going to use the second equation. 4x minus 7 times 2 is negative 10. 4x minus 14 is negative 10. Add 14 on both sides. 4x is 4. Divide by 4 and we get x is 1. Let's check and make sure that worked. 13 times 1 plus 7 times 2. That really does work out to 27. So we are correct. We can solve this system using substitution. But that was really awkward. It would have been even worse if we hadn't gotten nice decimals in here. 
and we had to keep converting to fractions? In the next set of videos, we'll learn a method that would have been a much easier way to solve a system like this one.